vibes and God and inshallah. So maybe start us with a word of prayer. I want to share a verse. Hallelujah. Wow. Wow, we have to start with a word of prayer. We have to start with a word of prayer. <laughs> All right, so uh, we thank you, Lord, for this beautiful, beautiful day that you've granted us. We pray that you be with our viewers, that you be with us, almighty God, guide us in your will. May we be successful in this day and even in this month as we start it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I was very serious. Maybe uh -huh. very quick. From Jeremiah 29, 11, uh -huh. the Bible says, For I know the plans I have for you, de mm. declares the Lord. Mm -hmm. The plans to prosper you mm -hmm. and not to harm you. Mm -hmm. Plans to give you hope and a future. Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. So this is God who was telling the people of Babylon that after the 70 years in exile, mm -hmm. that God will finally restore them. Mm -hmm. So I don't know whatever you are going through this morning, whatever you have been going through from January all the way up to now October. Yeah. It's not yet 70 years. Just mm -hmm. keep pushing, keep and even Jesus waited for 33 years to start his ministry. Mm -hmm. So you have not waited. Just keep on waiting. God's time, he will do it. Mm -hmm. He has said that when the time is right, you will call upon him. He will answer. He will answer them. Steph. Itafika, yeah. Mm -hmm. So just hold on in there. If you're going through a hard time, hold on in there and be hopeful about the future. God is going to come through for you. What are you grateful for, Manu? Because one of the way to... To actually, um, you know, to actually have a great um, month or to be hopeful and to have faith is looking back. Sometimes it takes looking back at the little things that we are grateful for. So, so far, the whole of the year, uh, 10 months now, getting to the 10 month, 10th month, what are you grateful for? I'm grateful that I'm alive uh -huh. and in good health. I haven't spent a night in hospital, mm -hmm. and I thank God for that. I'm grateful for my big sister. Oh, yeah, she keeps me going. Man, <laughs> you let them back on you. You see this? I really appreciate first bonds, first bonds, second bonds. These people really they are they sacrifice a lot. Yeah, yeah. And uh, every every morning when I wake up, when I push myself, I'm like, God, I want you to put me in a position that I will really be. They are to help my sister. Whenever she will be like, you know what, Manu, I need 10,000. Oh, Sawa, you make to me at 20 days. Yeah, I know. Wow. All right. That, that's really nice. Um, she what are you grateful appreciated. for? Oh, I'm grateful for so many things. Um, first, I'm grateful for life. The, the fact that, I mean, that's the bare minimum. The fact that we have to it's it's a, it's a lot. It's yeah. great. So um, I'm grateful for, for life. I'm grateful that I have a family that I can count loves on. You. I do watch your status. Now we're young, talk a lot. So we know what to know, Ranyawaza. But Nisawa to silent viewers, eh? But yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I'm just I'm grateful for for life. I'm grateful for family. I'm grateful for amazing friends. What true. What true. Just a few, one, two, three people that you can actually count on. It's it's amazing. I have a wonderful community um, that's called uh, LEMP. If you check my social media, I'm all about I'm all about it. It's a mentorship program. It's something that I'm passionate about. So um, even I am a mentor, partly there so i'm really grateful for that it's an amazing community networking community uh full of young people uh, who come at first who come and they're not sure about where you want to to go in terms of purpose and uh once you're done with that program it's just around eight saturdays once you're done with that program um you have a good idea you have a clear direction of where you want to be what you want to do because it's a it's, it's really hard to even explain it, but it's a very impactful program. And then after that, you're absorbed into the network because it's a, an alumni network. It's a big network. And there you get to be connected with opportunities. You get to be mentored. You know, it's, it's a whole uh, am amazing program. So I'm also grateful for that particular community. What does it take for one to be a mentee in that program? It sounds like a nice program. It's it's a good one. Uh, unfortunately, the current season is ending this Saturday. But you know, you'll 
feel free to join. It's usually uh, every... Oh, not every Saturday. Now, this will be the last Saturday, the coming Saturday. It's really just here. YWCA is in town. Uh, YWCA, not YMCA. For now, YM, now YW. So it's YWCA. And uh, it happens from uh, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. So you just come to YWCA and then just say you're coming for a LEMP program, a mentorship program, and you'll be directed there. It's as simple as that. The next one will be happening next year. So you just check out the website, search www. www lemp lemp.co.ke or just go to instagram or go to facebook and just search lemp that stands for living effectively mentorship program amazing next year to pattern anyway, anyway. i shall Saturday. join <laughs> anyway, <laughs> good, anyway good, before good. we jump into today maybe i can mm. tell at least told history about coffee okay tell mm. us about coffee so maybe you take our old guess so coffee coffee started in ethiopia in the 19th century Mm -hmm. It was discovered actually by a, an herd of goats, a person who was taking care of his goats. And then he noticed that the goats ate these berries from these fruits. Uh -huh. And the goats suddenly became a lot energized. Mm. And, he beca and he became worried. Him mm. personally tried the berries and he noticed the same effects. So he became energized. <laughs> right? that, that's the history wow. <laughs> behind coffee. Wow. Just so like that. I don't know. <laughs> Just like that, like I'm to make something out of it. Yeah, and that's just how it started in the 19th century in Ethiopia yeah. by a goat eating berries of coffee. Wow. And then it later spread in the, in the 15th century to Arabian Peninsula, to be specific, Yemen, mm. where the monks were using it, the Sowink monks, were using it during long nights of prayers so that they cannot sleep. Mm -hmm. So and then Tell coffee started gaining popularity with time, with time, mm. spread to Europe. Europe now people started doing business about coffee. Mm. Boom. Yeah, we are with coffee. And you know, interestingly enough, Kenya is one of the countries that produce great coffee. Yeah. And unfortunately, we export most of it. We don't even, we, interestingly enough, uh, we, the coffee we get, see the, or okay, it's the coffee we export. It's not the coffee <laughs> we export. We export the quality coffee and then sit on a back in the and you may back <laughs> which is unfortunate i mean why why but yeah uh good thing is that we still make money from it but coffee is, uh, is the main money. thing and then there are two two types of coffee from my knowledge in high school when i i was good i remember <laughs> arabica and uh, it was it is arabica and robusta robusta, uh, robusta right I come and see come by us, Anna. No, you're very brilliant. We, we are good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So those are the two two types of coffee, and uh, Kenya is known for. Da -da -da, is it Arabica mostly? But we have both. But Kenya is more common Arabica. than others. Arabica, yeah. So coffee, coffee is good. So the take take Kenyan coffee so that you promote um, our farmers. Yeah, amazing. So apart from that. Uh, there's a lot of things going to happen today. Today, learn Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> <Very interesting. laughs> How did you just say that? <laughs> Tuesday, we are very Tuesday is all about good vibes. Oh, good, <laughs> good vibes. Uh, today, today is that day. Uh, because of so many reasons uh, why we are saying that. First, Rigiji. Uh, the fate of Rigiji ni leo inakuwa decided. It is today. And then two... P, uh, on Twitter, people are saying there's Mandamano. Yeah, free Morara Kebaso. Because of, yeah, freeing Morara ke, Morara is a movement. Because Morara is big, is a, is a brand. <laughs> Morara is a brand. But now, how did they take hey. Morara? How did they take, how did they dare take Morara? When <laughs> what, what manner of injustice is this? Within few hours, what? people were already demonstrating in the police station. Yeah. He had to be moved from the, from the police station to the headquarters of DCI. Can you Morara. imagine? They sent tear gas. Wali Rusha tear gas. Morara. Kibas. The man Morara. <laughs> how important is Morara in this country? <laughs> That's how you know. <laughs> That's how you know that people people are, are rallying behind you. But honestly speaking, honestly speaking, as a country, we are failing. We are failing because it is so unfortunate that uh, the police will say that Morara is not there. Yet we know Morara is there. They will say they did not abduct Morara yet. yet. The car, it was seen, you know. It's, it's quite unfortunate that um, 
the law works against us. And the lawyer who was uh, um, there yesterday who was speaking, um, he said that they were denied entry. Ah. And, uh, you know, uh, he, he was explaining that according to the law, according to the Constitution, as a person who has been arrested, you know, if you're arrested, then you're entitled to your lawyer, yeah. to people who can help, even friends. You, at the bare minimum is getting a lawyer inside. But he was denied that. How in the world is that even allowed? And then uh, the police officers who are denying them entry, they said that is law from above. So now what it seems to be is like, the law from above is above the constitution. Who is that law from above? We have received instructions from above. Who is that that's giving instructions from above? Are they above the constitution? Funny enough, what made me like see that story is all about politics, a lot of politics. Morera was arrested because of condemning a very bad act that was done to people, the governor of Mombasa. Mm -hmm. He was being, the rights of people, making sure that the CDF money is used good. So the, allegedly that the Mombasa governor sent people. He's the one who sent the 20 people who sodomized the young man. Mm -hmm. they, they grabbed the young man, they took him. Now Akalipa took a to sodomize him. So Kebaso was condemning it. And he, the way he was giving that speech, you may think that he's the president addressing it. Yeah. The you guy know, was really confident. The, the authority that he has, <laughs> the authority that he has, and you're talking about Bruce, and he's also um, one of the yeah, things that, that's, the, the thing that's also trending is um, justice for Bruce. It is so disheartening. It's, it is unthinkable, unfathomable, when you think that um, such injustice can be allowed to be done. And when you follow through the, with the story, you see how bad... The, the the bad state the country is in because um as you've said allegedly the governor of um mombasa. of mombasa abdul swamad um sent people to abduct this guy and they did not abduct him at first while you could just pole pole that with the kambi out they came in peace yeah. so he decided to go with them because of kuja nini a rough and all so they took a border they went to um there's a place he mentioned, I'm forgetting. So before they got in, Gari Kakuja. A bit. A small bit, yes. He, um, there was some, the driver, someone at the front, someone here, and then he was sandwiched between someone else. And as they were going, they asked him, they interrogated him. They were asking him questions, da-da-da. And then um, after that, akona mungina amesongesha mkono, akachukua gunia, some green gunia. And when you see him explain, you really feel bad because he was he, he's still he was in hospital. He, yeah, he was crying while explaining. And this is a man, this is someone who, you know, the, his only crime is seeking Fighting accountability, the yes, mm. from his leader. So they, they, they covered him. They were strangling him. They were beating him. They were, they were just torturing him. And then finally, they took a video while they molested him as men, sodomized him. What manner of evil is this? We're not, this is even past injustice. This is evil. And it's being perpetuated by a leader because how else do you explain it? Even funny enough is that the leader is not afraid to say that I'm the one behind it. Because the, the moment they reached the, the, the Chawa's house, they told him that we have been sent by Governor so-and-so, by Governor of Mombasa, so Abdul, by Governor Abdul, so that you can come and say sorry to him. So even the tenants saw the entire, saw Chawa being taken by the people. They were like, the people of motorbikes, there were a lot of people. Like the guy is really proud that I'm the one behind it. And they recorded it, told Chawa that if you dare speak this, then we shall release this video to the public. And, and it's in the public? Yeah. I've not seen it, I don't think I'd want to see it. Because, I mean, it's it's such a horrific sad. thing. I watched it. It's sad. It's sad. It's a sad one. I, I don't have the heart to watch it. But surely, if justice is not done, then we are not a country. Because it is clear, as bl black and white clear, that this this is a crime, a heinous crime. And the worst part of it all 
but when he was um, left after being tortured, molested and all, um, a, f a friend, you know, he was taken to, um, to the hospital. Let me, just, let me just get that. He was taken to, um, to the hospital and they refused to, to, um, to take him in. And this is a, from a statement of um, International Commission of Jurists and Utuwetu. So, um, so here is it. This is, so um, ICG, ICJ, Kenya and Utuwetu Trust, a father appalled, appealed by reports that um, Bruce was denied urgent medical attention when he sought care at Coast General and Referral Hospital. Imagine. This is a referral hospital, a big hospital like Another this. Hospital. Yes. The timely provision of medical services is crucial in cases of sexual assault. We know how important that is, um, particularly for the prevention of um, STIs, right? The yeah. sexual transmitted infection. So BK was later admitted to Beyond Scope Hospital where he received treatment thanks to the intervention of a friend. So even the hospital is corrupt. How deep does it go? When you talk about corruption in this country, how deep does it go? Because you offend a leader. Then Talking you about how deep does it go, Morara was arrested. Morara has talked a lot of things mm -hmm. in the media space. But he was arrested for specifically about that video, about talking, about calling out mm -hmm. the, the governor of Mombasa. And directing the DCI that they should arrest him. It's, 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 it's crazy. It's, it's terrible. The it's Kenya bad. We, the Kenya we, love. We, we need, we need to, to do something about our system, our justice system. We need to give power to a justice system. It needs to be autonomous. It can't be um, influenced by, by politics. It is unfortunate that it is. But let, let's move on from that. Okay. No, 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 come on in a talking, about, talking about hospitals Tuesday, and government and hospitals. So medical interns, they have decided mm -hmm. that they are not going to offer their services anymore mm -hmm. until, until, the, until the agreement that they had with the Salaries Commission be met. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, maybe if you have noticed that services in hospitals are being delayed, especially in Kiambo County. So this follows by the interns and the salaries commission. Mm -hmm. They initially had an agreement that doctors who are medical interns be paid 206,000 Kenyan shillings. But the SRC, that's the Salaries and Remuneration Commission, suggested that they should be paid 70. So from 206,000 Kenyan shillings to 70. And nurses, clinical officers, the, their salaries should be reduced from 106 to 50,000. Nurses, clinical officers, they were initially being paid 106,000. So it should be reduced to 50,000. Why? According to the Salaries and Remuneration Committee. Where can okay, they go? <laughs> SRC. <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah. Wow. Uh -huh. So that's and, and again for Yeah, and again for doctor interns, they were claimed, they had agreed with the SRC that they were going to be paid 206,000. But mm -hmm. the SRC, Luaruka Naika Sema, that they should be paid 70 days. 70,000. Instead of? Instead of 206,000. Mm. You can imagine that the drop. What in the world? So, and they, have, they went to court. The interns went, the doctors went to court. The case has been postponed three times. And right now it was postponed to 16th of October. And they have said that they are not going to work <laughs> until 16th of October, the case to be heard. Wow. That's so, so please try and be very healthy because it's a lot of jam at the hospitals. Did you just say to try and be healthy? Yeah, leave. Where? Kuna zinyi na zinyi inakufanyanga uende ya tasi ya wanyi umetaka. But kuna za kujitakia. Kama nini? Let's say for example someone you are not keeping a diet. Maybe unapata mtu you are grown up person but you know that it's cold. You want to walk out. You are bare chested, no sweater. Kuna zinyi na za kujitakia tu. Yeah. Okay. So we we remain um, uh, <laughs> healthy. According yeah. to Manu, Eva sweater, ukiona kuna nyesha, tembeana umbrella, and all. Then <laughs> moving away from that, um, there's a lot happening. Sijuni anzia wapi from the dailies. 
um, let me just get Historia. We we had mentioned it yesterday. Um, the move to to Shah from NHIF. So in this particular daily, uh, Omtata seeks to block new national health cover. So the um, the cover is supposed to even roll out today, today officially, first of October. So um, you, we are supposed to register uh, in the SHA website. But uh, of course, there's some opposition. So Busia Senator, Okia okay, Mtata, and two others have moved to court seeking the block uh, seeking to block the implementation of social health insurance fund ahead of today's launch as i've said it's being launched today so mr mr omtata together with mr elud karanja martini and dr magare uh Gekenya argue that the subsidiary legislation required to operationalize the social insurance health act were not in place the three petitioners have also questioned the procurement of safaricom consortium to provide an integrated health information technology system for universal health coverage at the cost of 104.8 North million billion. And uh, we had mentioned that yesterday. Kenyan shillings, not Ugandan this money. Is Kenyan, Kenyan shillings, yes. Uh, so Mr. Matata said in the petition that they are challenging the constitutionality or the constitutional validity of implementation of the two annulled legal notices, the Social Health Insurance um, Regulation 2024 and the Social Health Insurance Tribunal Proce uh, Procedure Rules 2024. But the thing is that um, already as we speak yesterday, the, um, the health uh, committee led by uh, Dr. Pukwase already approved the 104.8 billion yeah, because yeah. it has to pass to the committee the parliament for them to approve so are we Actually, now a member of the community a member of the committee mm -hmm. called anton kibagendi mp sits at the health he said that to naibiwa quoting his words the anton kibagendi said that to naibiwa 104 billion shillings at his akunda computer system even pegza pegza software used to hack phones Hawa na hiyo 104 billion mm. stolen through a Piero. So the, the government that, the, count, the, the company that is being given this contract, it's a Piero. A Piero is owned by Adani, where Adani have, has links with, uh, with Roto. <laughs> Kenya. Munajua kwa nini na cheka? Ni wache. Hapo tu ndio. Ay, jawini. And this is Anton Kibagendi. He sits at that that committee. I'm tired. Kenya, I'm, we love and, ag I'm... and again in politics, mm -hmm. they are the MPs who are trying to stand out for Rig G. Mm, start, uh -huh. To be there for him, you know, fight for the for the Mtu wa Murima. So MP Gakuya, Gakuya, Gakuya is right now in court. So the, the the person is corrupt. Is accused of being corrupt. These are the people who are trying to help Rig G. So the guy alitenga for 40 million Kenyan money to construct a road that already exists. Who is <laughs> the MP? The MP. Gakuya, the one who's, who's be there for Gashagua. You should mm. not impeach Gashagua. He's in court right now. 40 million for something that already exists. It's like you want to buy that paper for 40 million and you oh, already have I that. I already paper. have it. Hmm. Kenya we love. The Kenya we love. <laughs> the Kenya we love. And... um. As you've said, some MPs have tried and are still trying. And the third attempt to stop uh, DP Gashago impeachment motion fails. Uh, that, that's in court. Justice Mugambi to give further direction on petition by Caroline Mwangi on October 9th. October 9th will be too late because things are going down today. <laughs> today. So, where Mtu Amendika Sikuya Nani Kufa. Nini inuli ya mwata. Wacha ni sizidi hapo. And then, uh, Rigiji, when, um, I think during the Sunday service, uh, the truthful man, uh, he said, Kenyans can save me from impeachment by asking the MPs to leave me alone. They should remind the MPs that they were elected to serve the people, not to impeach me. If Kenyans do that, the MPs will listen to them. So Rigiji, now, anaomba wa Kenya, tafadhali salimieni MPs wenu. Jaribuni musalimio muakumbushe. 
Eh, kumbe wa Kenya tuna tunahitajikanga at, but, but, at some point. But one thing I know if the MPs decide to give Rigji another chance then that's politics. Mm -hmm. That's politics of the highest order because why should they bring us all this way and then just to give him a pass? Why? It's, it's On the Taifa Leo I see Rigji, uh -huh. a very big picture. I don't know if you can see it. I Rigji I know mikono. Rigji mm -hmm. I miza umoja wa watu wa Mlima Kenya hata iwapo atabanduliwa. So he has asked all the Mount Kenya people to come together, despite whatever is going to go down today. Today, of course, something is going down. Mm -hmm. yeah, he has just asked people to come together and, you know, stay together despite whatever happens. Yes. So that's, that's Rigiji for you. Yeah. And uh, some people are saying this is just to... Um, this is just to divert people's attention from shift things are happening with the Danny deal and all but it's also just as real um even with morera being arrested and things that a lot of things are going down urashanga attention utapeleka wapi wache wapi and yesterday uh, also uh, rigi g is it is it yesterday he he was exposing drift valley mp's uh, insults messages sent to him Oh, the truthful man is really suffering. And the wife even stood up to say, um, to say that um, my husband, who you call the real G, it's the real G. The real G. <laughs> you call the real G, and even the truthful man was put here by prayers, and it's by uh, by prayers, and it's only the altar that can take him out. So. We we'll, we we'll wait and see how how that goes. We shall know in a few hours. And on another mm. hand, Mambo ni mengi Kenya. A lot of things are happening in Kenya. A lot. Yusuf Hussein. This is a member of the county assembly. Mm -hmm. He has been missing for two weeks. True. A member of the county assembly. Mm -hmm. This is not like a random Kenyan. This a member of the county assembly MCA. has been missing for two weeks. Yeah, an MCA. He has been missing for two weeks now. Since being picked up in South B hmm. with armed men. Akuna at Sichi Niamaji was not stolen by Sijui thieves, armed men, people who they approached him, said that they are officials, mm. and they picked him two weeks ago. He res now residents of Wajir town, they are demanding the release of Yus Yusuf Hussein. Mm. They are on the streets yeah. demonstrating. There's a lot. Atta, Atta leaders are being abducted. Buena. What is happening? Because I remember one MP was also questioning um, the... Um, um, what the committee, f the se uh, security committee, uh, on the whereabouts of Yusuf until now he's not been found. Two weeks is a lot of time, and this is a leader. How much more for a normal citizen, mm -hmm. an ordinary man like me and you? It is bad. It is bad. We need to sit down as a country. Me as much partner in my tent. Things are happening, and it's not even funny. It's not even interesting. These abductions do not speak of democracy. They do not speak of a country that is ruled by um, the by the constitution. Yes, it's ruled. It's not a country of the people. It's a country of the few. And when you wrong the few, then you are, you are abducted. If you play with those in power, you get it the rough way. That's what Chawa was told. Chawa was told that to me too much kuje kufunga mdomo. Can you imagine? So you should not speak of the poor in power. You should not question them. If they wake up today and say, you know what, Kenya from today, we are not going, we are not going to have maybe even school. You should not question that. You should say, okay, sawa viongozi. No, that's not the Kenya we want. That's not the Kenya our fathers fought for. It is not. No. It's it's bad. It's it's really bad. Um, I'm I'm seeing. I have people daily here as well, and um, well, I have. I am I'm spoiled for choice because here with business daily. Um, they're talking about a Danny deal, but uh, I'll get back to that later. So on the front page of People Daily, they're saying Ruto's hand in DP Austria, and that's on page four. I'm also getting back to that. Uh, we see uh, Shah being talked about, uh, the Social Health um, Insurance Fund, the making of Grand Health Sham. So that's on page seven. 
and the news beat is on Gen Z Morara arrested for exposing lies. So to the the, the main read, Ruto hand in M, uh, MPs plot to oust uh, Gashang Gashagwa. What they're saying here is that the president's hand in the planned removal of his deputy was exposed yesterday, right? But this is when the National Assembly Deputy Majority Leader Owen Bayer was tasked to table an impeachment motion. Rather, um, okay, this can okay because I'm wondering why they're saying yesterday, but okay. So when a uh, Majority Leader Owen Bayer was tasked to table an impeachment motion in Parliament. Um, the 40-page motion was forwarded to the clerk's office yesterday's afternoon. Kibwezi West MP Mwingi Mutuso will take on the motion. So we already know how this will flow. Leo, Leo if you do not watch um, KBC, you better watch it because we usually, KBC is our mother station and we usually broadcast the proceedings. So make sure that you tune in to watch how this will go down. It's going to be, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be hot. Enough. It's going to yeah. be fire. So be, be sure to watch KBC. So, uh, and that's from, of course, from 2.30 p.m. That's when it usually starts. So the Kibwezi West MP Mwingi Mutuse will second the motion after which Speaker Moses Watangula will issue directions on when, the, when debate on the motion will proceed. So, of course, the motion will be debated and members will for the argument on why they think it should go through or not. And then uh, Kimilili MP, that's Didmas Barasa, had initially been mentioned as the planned mover of the motion, and it was not clear why he was replaced with sources revealing that Bayer's Bayer, boss, that is Kimani Ishungwa, who's the majority leader, were, uh, declined to move the motion for fear of a backlash in the Mount Kenya region. This is obvious. This is so obvious. We could not reach Ishungwa or Baya before before press time. So this is because of his own reputation. Because you you stand you are in the middle, and he clearly from all this we know that Ishungwa is not for the deputy president. He's been oh. very vocal about it. So as much as he has been vocal about it, going ahead to move the motion, being the motion mover. <laughs> will put him at a very bad point, spot, if things go bad and it backfire on him. Because if watu wa murima, wakiamua, wameamua kusimama na mtuto wa wa murima, that's Rigiji, then Ishingwa will be on the on the bad light. So akamua cha a chase is safe. And that's why Didmas, Didmas Barasa will probably be the mover of this motion. So it's all planned out. Yani ni kitu tu. Kila kitu imepangwa imepangana na politics is at the center of it. It's it's crazy. It's crazy that that's happening. So over mm -hmm. here I have the Taifa Leo. So up there on the first page we have the ODM Uda. ODM na Uda wavuna mamilioni. Vyama hivyo viwili vyapokea jumla ya takriban nukta sufuri 86 billion za vyama za kisiasa. Gashagwa ainua mikono. Gashagwa asema yuko tayari kutimuliwa mamlakani huku juhudi zake za kutimuliwa kotini zikigonga muamba. Za kutaka kuto pelekwa kotini kugonga muamba. Eh, Kiswahili is tough. <laughs> Ina and then, tatanisha, eh. <laughs> and then, mm -hmm, we have maombi manne ya kutaka maombi manne ya kutaka mahakama ismamishe bunge kuanzisha harakati ya kumuwa mamlakani rigji Ili, 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 ili gonga muamba jana. Rigiji ya imiza umoja wa watu wa mlima. Kenya wa watu wa mlima ata iwapo atabanduliwa kwenye kiti chake. Hoja ya kumtimua ya tarajiwa kuwasilishwa bungeni leo. It's on the ukurasa wa pili. And then we have Morara. Morara pia akamatwa. Wakili jenzi alie, kuwa, alie geoka mkosoaji mkuu wa serikali nae ak akamatwa jana. Aya. Mm -hmm. Ondoa NHIF ingiza bima ya sha. Serikali yaanza kutekeleza bima mpya ya hospitali. Kalo, Kalonzo tena azuiwa kuona waititu. I love this story. So Kalonzo went and other opposition leaders went mm -hmm. to see waititu. Waititu, the previous governor of Kiambu, mm -hmm. went to see waititu. Waititu was arrested also for a bad speech. He, he talked in church. Mm -hmm. The story is in second page. Let me open it. Okay. So waititu, Kalonzo went there. Mm -hmm. and other opposition leaders to see Waititu, but Kalonzo, Wamalwa, Kioni, but they were denied 
that opportunity. So, what led to Waititu to be arrested? Mm -hmm. Bwana Waititu, mm -hmm. waipa, waipa kalonzo msioka na viongozi wengine wa upinzani jana walizuiwa kumuona gavana wa zamani wa kiambu Ferdinand Waititu ambaye alikamatua kwa, tuhum, kwa tuhuma za kutoa matamshi ya utochezi. Mm. Bwana Waititu aliambi, aliambia taifa leo kuwa polisi walimvamia wali katika eneo la Northern Bypass Kiambu alafu wakamsafirisha hadi makao makuu ya idara ya upelelezi that's DCI andikishe taarifa aliusisha Halius, kukamatwa kwake na ma, matamshi aliyotoa kanisani Jumapili ambapo alis, alisema kuwa iwapo naibu wa rais Rigathi Gashagwa atatolewa ata ofisini basi yapaswa aende Na kinara wake, buwana William Samoy Ruto. <laughs> so, just for that speech, mm. <laughs> he found himself in sleeping in, he slept in the police custody. My goodness. Mambo and that ni, is why it Mambo ni hayo, mambo ni hayo. Whatever you do, watch your speech. Watch your speech, but I don't know if that's how ideally it should be. Not, probably not, of course not, because that's not what's related. I think related. that's trying to censor whatever Kenyans are going to talk whatever yeah. people whatever you talk about the government i think the government wants to censor it mm -hmm. mm. so it's that, that's how things are you just be careful on what you speak about especially in these spaces just for your own good until we we get things going right right uh, speaking of um things that are not as going as right as we'd want it to go um i'm seeing a story wha on why kenyans why Kenyans stand to lose from Adani Airport deal. And the proposal shows the project requires a cash outlay of 2.05 US billion, uh, do, you know, billion dollars, uh, including capital expenditures, operating expenses, and financial financing costs. So um, the proposal submitted early this year by Indian conglom conglomerate Adani Group to the Kenya Airport Authority to develop and renovate parts of uh, JKA has been made public. And uh, to facilitate informed public engagement with the proposal, as a project finance student, I thought it would be useful to provide an expert view on its key technical aspects. Um, so Adani exploits, uh, exploits a provision in Kenya's Public Private Partnership Act of the 2021 that allows private firms to initiate project proposals and channel them to the government for consideration. And there's a lot, a lot, a lot into it. Um, so the proposal, what they have, uh, I quote, I'm quoting here, the proposal omits information on Adani Airports holding limited extent of ownership of global airport operator. So it's it's still not clear. It's still not clear on on this Adani deal. And final thoughts of this particular writer, he says the public private partnership act requires a justification when an open tender approach is not used for proposed project. That is um, that this has not been done is worrying given the consultants hired by the government to advise on this transaction recommended open tendering. So the, the, the person uh, employed for this uh, recommended open tendering, but this was not done. This was closed. Uh, Danny's uh, argued benefits of its privately initiated proposal, quicker turnaround time, customization, and risk mitigation are not convincing. One way or the other, circumstances uh, now make Adani the winner and Kenyans the loser of this fiasco. Why are we the losers? Because by the end of the day, Adani will get that contract. By the end of the day, we are the losers. We as Kenyans. And on the other hand, I see Uhuru Mwagai Kenyatta has regained control over Jubilee Party. Mm -hmm. Again, once more, the party belongs to him. Now he's the head of the Jubilee Party. But I don't know. I'm done. I can't wait to get into entertainment to, uh, uh, to Udako of the day. <laughs> you have some Udako. Give us some. Give yeah, us some, some just Back to love. Some Udako back to love. Tell us about it. In Kenya now. Mm -hmm. Mungai Eve and uh, the long lover. Trevor. Trevor. The so ex. The, the ex now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Mungai Eve has been going to spaces and talking a lot of things. Talking a lot of things. Saying that yeye ni mashida zilimpeleka kwa Trevor. That he thinks that it was situation. It was a situation ship that led to there. 
ndoa. Uh-huh. Mind you, if it's not for Trevor Mungai, he will not be where she is today. How, how do you, how do because, you say that? Okay, maybe probably she could have gotten another destiny helper, but in this point, it was Trevor. It was Trevor Mbaya Limshika Mkono, and he fed him when she had nothing, akamonesha the streets and how they are run. Like, he literally walked with this lady to, to her fame, to the money that she has right now. Mm -hmm. Right now she's she's doing good and says that yeah yeah kama si mashida ange ange jipata na Trevor. It's um when you talk about these two couples, I'm wondering why they have just oh, oh social media and too relevant because they had chazadchin they had chazadcheni <laughs> <laughs> me using broken English English so while kwa mchezadchini sio so. All of a sudden, Mungaiv decides, oh, let me revisit this situation. But people had already moved on from their situation. Why did they? We had forgotten. <laughs> See, Mungaiv alisema kona boyf boyfriend at Jamona. Trevor alisema kona girlfriend mwenye tusha muona. Now, tu, wa mesonga, right? So now, revisiting this situation only confirms that they're seeking social media uh, validity and relevance because they have to remain relevant. So, I mean, Maybe I want to make my mother sana. Story I want to understand how sana. So let me, let me give them up. something dramatic that will kind of stir things up. But uh, what you've said that um, Trevor and Wali said, "Yamungaiv kufika maliko." My own personal opinion is that Wali said, "Yana kufika maliwako." Both of them. It was a joint effort, and. Uh, it's okay that Trevor, though, maybe alimtoa, alim, alimpatia the initial boost to start. And it took if Mungai is um, um, personality, it took her hard work as well, it took her being out, the putting herself out there every time, even with the. I'll go a lot of critics. People but without a platform. People, no, <laughs> now. She she did that. She had that platform. Now when they started, they started together, and this also gave Trevor because even before Mungai, we didn't know about Trevor that well. We know that he's always been a producer, a director, you know, but we didn't know him that well. The people in the social spaces they didn't know him that well. He was known um, in the content creation spaces as behind the camera. We rarely are the people who are behind the camera known. Okay. Unless they are in the in the limelight, they're brought to the limelight. So if Mungai or Mungai if helped bring Trevor also Alimpati or limelight, the fact that Alikwana date boyfriend in Nini. So it helps. It was a, a partnership that worked, but it worked only for a while. So the only them know why it did not work. Now if Alimaos Juali Nini Jaradas Juali but according to the story of Eve, Eva Lisema, that when he went to Trevor, mm. he didn't have any other place to go. But they were together, so what does she mean? Like, what, what's up with ladies? Like, Mona Mtakangi took Kubali, like, if it's not for this man, I couldn't be where I am today. You, you can't say that. You can only acknowledge the help that you received. And you can but that was public help, everyone saw it. But he, she also helped him. It's also fair to just say, they will help me to this extent, but I also helped you to this extent. It was a mutually beneficial kind of relation, professional rela on the professional side of a relationship. So it was mutually beneficial. Nivayatu nani ali initiate, ali anzisha, but they helped. They helped each other. But I accept first but that Trevor helped Mungai. Before Mungai helped Trevor, Trevor helped Mungai. Saobas, I am sorry. I I leave the argument. Me at I'm not for you. Easy dramas on your call. Nazwapo kwa social. So whoever helped you, it's okay. Like in a situated drama. They should put it to a stop. Was the wake? Was the wake na uko? And on the other side again, Bradley, the Gen Z Goliath. He has gotten his certificate, his ID only weeks after applying for them. Connections hmm. mtuangu. Amepata wape? He applied for his certificate and the ID is in Kenya. Okay. Eh, na amezipata within weeks. People wait for a month maybe mm -hmm. to get. Actually right now, ID I think it's a month. No, okay. So that's something. Because um, we were wondering how they do not have um, the IDs and birth certificates. But still, I'm also questioning my 
my knowledge my name. do people around him know him like school alienda watu wanakumbuka mm -hmm. teachers wameongea people students wameongea when you look for classmates sije una mtu ametokea akasema ah he was my classmate guys da 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 da, da. oh see so how bradley i've not seen that i've really not seen that maybe never went to school you never know i don't know no they can't all have not gone to there are three of them that th we have three glass this <laughs> yeah <laughs> so uh well i don't know i'm still not convinced mimi ni patiwe tu hizo zote before i'm convinced kaso tutoka ke to from from birth from birth alizaliwa aje eh nasa lim deliver but do you go ama you go you go okay doctor eh you go alikuwa hospital gani ile okay alafu amenda you know that kind of thing kuonyesha alikuwa a really a nice story it will sell if he if he does that with these people yeah because some people are very skeptical about the the <laughs> I've, I've had i've seen people online and me i'm also just questioning certain and somebody i'm not agreeing fully with what other people are saying but i'm just questioning the originality you know kuna kuna humans na people who are not <laughs> <as> <laughs> So it, it will help our our conscious and our peace of mind to know that kulikuwa na watu wenye wamemjua akigo. Wewe sasa hizi nikienda kwenu people will know you. Ah, unajua nilikubeba ukikuwa mdogo sasa umekuwa mkubwa. Are there people like that for of for Bradley? Yeah, so <laughs> oh. I, they should come out eh hey, wasema huyu akigro alikuwa mkubwa tulikuwa you know hata akikuwa mdogo alikuwa anatana na mimi jezi anatana huko so akikuwa 5 years alikuwa anatana na nani alikuwa anafika hapa anatana na mimi anatana na nani alikuwa anakula aje you know food yake alikuwa anakula aje and and all that stuff his social life ilikuwa aje because when you see him interact with other people it's he's still not kawaii like it's like even most of the interviews he sends is asked a question and i push down and push like si kwa nini wake ni wanishangwa jao watu wanatembeanga na wasanii pa kwa pa so ajibu most of the questions in the interviews you you guys need to question me kuna vitu zingine zinye no what about the other goliaths are they speaking ju amwezi kwa na the same person one actually has started gaining publicity but i he went to the national park but i think people thought it was bradley and people were all over him taking selfies following him yeah because they they their their identity is inafanana wanafanana hivi kabisa especially yo mwingine mwana fan na Bradley yo mwingine at least anaka different kidogo but the structure it, it is the same Jack and the Giant Slayer I don't know if you watched that movie No there, there is a movie that a, a bean goes to the ground it touches water and then it it the tree goes up past the sky and then now giants come down from the sky ah. but ah. <laughs> It's, it, it could just be a real movie that they nah, were uh, maybe creating. you are in one Kenya is all about movies yeah, <laughs> Kenya mambo ni mingi anyway wacha tu yaachie hapo um, on the good side of love yeah, which this weekend has just been wow a traditional wedding that brought a lot of jaluo celebrities together it was oh. just wow bola mhm mm i bola saw the it. man himself before even you go to the wedding to meet a foot the other day this man was selling sugar canes you know right now he was splashing 5 million on his wife during the wedding the guy has money akasema you make sure you have a low man in your life <laughs> in your life <laughs> hey people out here have money okay. i saw 10 helicopters Did over 300 cars jalango bahati arobo all name them even mama ida odinga was there huh. the man was previous day was selling sugar cane Oh god. But I do not see where you are. Do not <laughs> look at man. where you are. Ukaji ukaji darao. You do not know what tomorrow holds. You yeah, might just be the one know. with 10 helicopters. But flashing 5 million over your you wife. Business second again. I need to 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 start such ventures. Whoever is doing was a coca designer na but maombi. Okay, what to watch up. Uh now that we are pressed for time, we will leave it there because we want to start up with the interviews we have amazing amazing interviews coming on board uh, we'll be talking about youth internet governance what is your role as a youth where we come a youth to tumongela mambo mingi za internet um the freedom the blogger bruce uh, he, he spoke 
uh, his mind about for the people and he was sodomized we and see yet we have people freedom of speech we saw sh internet shutdown yes we have, to have we saw internet shutdown and all that so where where is our place when we come to to talk about um internet governance